I want to welcome the audience here at the Exploratorium and online. We have a very special show for you tonight. We're going to be connecting with a ship, the EV Nautilus, currently about 4,000 miles away from San Francisco, um, off the coast of the island of Grenada. And this ship is a ship of exploration. It is currently exploring an active undersea volcano. And I'm Mary Miller, I'm your host here at the Exploratorium, and we're gonna try connecting right now with the EV Nautilus. Allison and Lily, can you hear me? It's going great. I want to introduce Allison Fundus. She, uh, hello, hello, I want to uh, introduce our, our, our uh, friends out on the Nautilus. Allison Fundus is the Director of Education for Ocean Exploration Trust. And Lily Simonson is an artist, a painter who's out on the Nautilus. Can you guys give us a little update about what is going on right now on the ship? So thank you, Allison and Lily, for giving us that update. And Lily, I wanted to ask you, because I know you have a pretty special connection to the deep sea. Your art um, really reflects uh, that fascination. It all got, something, uh, got started with something called a Yeti crab. So there's a painting um, that you sent us, and it's called, I think, Yeti Crab Yearning. Tell us what's going on in this painting, Lily.
Uh, yeah, so we have um, the, the second of your Yeti uh, images that you sent us, which is, uh, it looks a little bit more like what we saw in the video from uh, the Woods Hole where the discovery was made. Can you tell us about that and also about the uh, lithograph that you made of, of the Yeti? Uh, so Lily, I know that you mentioned uh, the uh, vent communities in Black Smokers, and you, you started branching out and doing um, some of your paintings that had more of communities in it. Can you tell us what really got you started in doing two berms? And I'll just mention that we have some video here that shows Black s Smokers and a two berm com community, so you can sort of describe you know, what, what your fascination is with, with them, and then we'll show the uh, actual paintings you did of them. So tell us about the, uh, the painting, Don't Judge the Tube Worm, because that's what we're looking at right now. And what about the, uh, the tube worm mouth? How do they, I, knew, I know that they have a very special way of feeding themselves, so why did you focus on the tube worm mouth? Let, tell us about that. So Lily, the next uh, paint we, painting we have is called Ocean Realms. My understanding is that you were involved in the Census for Marine Life. Tell us how you got involved and, and describe a little bit this painting that we're seeing now. Census of everything in the ocean 
all the organisms in the ocean. So they were uh, documenting and counting existing species and then also looking for new species. And it was actually a census team that helped discover the Yeti crab. So when they learned that I was painting one of their discoveries, we started a dialogue and um, they invited me to talk at one of their, con their final conference. And I made that painting um, of the ocean realms in sort of commemoration of their project. So they had divided the ocean into six realms that made it uh, somewhat more manageable. Um, and so each of the animals in that painting represents one of the realms. And working with the census of marine life was really incredible because it allowed me to meet a whole network of fantastic scientists. And that was really the starting point for me getting more directly involved in research and collaborating more directly with, with scientists as they're making discoveries. So that was really cool. <laughs> So Lily, I think in addition to sort of painting animals, as you said, so sort of true to life, maybe some of the colors are a little fantastical, you started getting really interested in their biology. And we have a, a painting here of yours that we're going to show uh, that the title is uh, called Like Bunnies. So please tell us what is going on in this painting. It looks pretty mysterious and interesting. I wanted to remind people here in the studio and online that we're talking live to EV Nautilus. We're talking with Lily Simonson, who's an artist um, on board the Nautilus, and with Allison Fundus, who's the education director for the Ocean Exploration Trust. We're talking a little bit about um, Lily's uh, passion and her interest in deep sea animals, which led her uh, to uh, become part of the Nautilus team on this uh, section of their cruise. Um, I also wanted to say that anybody wants to ask any questions of Lily or Allison, that you can Twitter, uh, you can tweet your questions to hashtag EVNautilus, and we'll try to get those on the air. Now, uh, Lily, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to, uh, to a, a painting that you did of, um, of something that's not a deep sea animal. It's actually a fish. And there's a, a it, it, it is a fish that, um, that you painted and has a special significance. Can you tell us a little bit about the Nick fish? So uh, Lily, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be uh, doing on the Nautilus? Are you going to be doing some painting?
So I think uh, in the studio we want to get back to uh, looking at you on the ship because um, before we signed on with you uh, earlier today, uh, you, it looked like you had a canvas there. Are you working on something right now? Great. So um, if, if Allison is still there, why don't you uh, bring her back out and I want to hear, we want to get a little preview of what's, uh, of what's coming up and uh, what's coming up on the Nautilus. What are you going to be looking at over the next uh, 24, 24 hours or so? Great, I want to see if there's anybody in the studio audience who has a, a question for Lily or Allison. We have a mic here that we can get to you. We do, we have some, uh, some ladies here who want to ask a question. Hi Lily, uh, I was just wondering what it's like to be an artist uh, like day to day on the ship like that. Uh, so Lily, I understand that the, I, I understand that there's a uh, last year they, they found a, a giant mussel. Is that one of the animals that you're you're looking forward to potentially painting? Great. Well, thank you so much, Lily and Allison, for uh, joining us today. I know it's a little bit later there on the East Coast um, than it is here in San Francisco, but we really appreciate uh, you telling us about your adventures and what's going on there.
to thank the studio audience and everybody online for joining us today for our special webcast. We'll be doing another one of these on Sunday, this uh, coming Sunday at 12.30 Pacific time.